Welcome to Maxability. To unfold different layers of knowledge, stay tuned with us till the end of the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to Maxability. In this video, I want to talk about the trackpad commander. The trackpad is slightly below the keyboard where you can do all your gestures and use your Mac by just tapping, swiping and flicking. Lesson 5 Using Trackpad with VoiceOver on Mac Before we start this lesson, I want to give you two tips. Number 1 If you are familiar with iPhone or iPad and you are using them with VoiceOver, then the use of trackpad is very easy for you. Number two, you should be able to know how to turn on or off the trackpad. The reason being, while you are working with your keyboard, you may accidentally touch the trackpad or do some gesture unknowingly and the task or action may be performed. So if you know how to turn off the trackpad commander, you will not accidentally do those gestures. With that, let me start how to turn on or off the trackpad commander. Do you know how to use a rotor, a rotor feature on iPhone? Yes. You have to do twist of two fingers in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. The same thing that you have to do on trackpad with pressing and holding the VO commands. Use control plus option or VO command and flick, um, sorry, twist your fingers in anti-clockwise direction first. Trackpad commander off. So trackpad commander is now turned off. You can do any action on the trackpad and nothing works. To turn it off back, you have to use VO command plus rotor two finger twist in clockwise direction. Entering Safari menu bar. Trackpad commander on. Trackpad commander is now turned on. So that is a simple command how to turn on or off the trackpad commander. Now that the trackpad is turned on, you can do all the actions or all the gestures that you've been doing on your iPhone or iPad on the trackpad. Swipe right will take you to the next control or content. Swipe left will take you to the next control or content. I am on a web page on Safari. Let me do few flicks or few swipes forward and backwards. Link. Skip to content. Banner. I am swiping right to go to the next item. Visited. Link. Image. Maxibility logo. End of banner. Search. Search text field. Blank. Submit. Button. Link. Like us on Facebook. So I am just navigating forward with swipe right. Link. Follow us on Twitter. So I can do the same thing to go back. The gesture is swipe left. Link. Like us on Facebook. Submit. Button. Search. Search text field. Blank. End of banner. Visited. Link. Image. Maxibility logo. Banner. Link. Skip to content. So that's the first simple gesture. Swipe right and left. So you can use all other gestures like the rotor. So let me do a rotor function here. So I'm just doing some pre-identified command gestures that you might have already used on iPhone. So I'm doing the rotor. Words. It says words. Window spots. Links. Links. Headings. Headings. So now when you have heard headings, what do you do? Swipe down with one finger to go to the next heading 
and swipe up with one finger to go to the previous heading. So I'm doing swipe down to see the next heading. Heading level one, max ability. Heading level two, web accessible difficulties. So these are the two headings. So let me go back with swipe up with one finger. Heading level one, max ability. So that's how I use rotor and single finger up and down. So let me tell you a few more gestures. So you might have been doing this three finger double tap. Speech muted. Speech is muted when you feel like it is disturbing. You can mute voiceover with three finger double tap and you can do the same to unmute again. Speech unmuted. Speech unmuted. Three finger triple tap. Page one of six and horizontal page one of two. Speech muted. Speech unmuted. So let me do it once again. Three finger triple tap. Screen curtain off. Screen curtain off. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain on. You might be using this in the past. So the other few gestures are. Um, so before I tell those gestures, what I will do is similar to what I have done in the past with keyboard commands i will also do the same thing with the trackpad commander so you want to play with the trackpad without really firing those gestures so what i can do again is to turn on keyboard help control option or vo plus k vo plus Okay. Starting keyboard help. Type keys to hear their names. Hold down the voiceover keys while typing to hear voiceover commands. Press the escape key in the top left corner of the keyboard to stop help. So, though it says keyboard, it also works for the trackpad. Now I can play on the trackpad to see what those gestures do for me. Flick right. Move right. Moves the voiceover cursor right. So it is telling the gesture that I did and also the action of that gesture. Two finger double tap, magic tap, performs a magic tap, typically toggling the most important state of the app. Two finger triple tap. Two finger double tap left, open application chooser, brings up a list of currently opened applications. Two finger double tap on the left side of the trackpad opens the windows that are applications uh, windows that are opened touch to finger double tap right open window chooser brings up a list of currently opened windows so opens the windows if you do it on the right side and to finger double tap left open application chooser brings up a list of currently opened applications so left side is the application chooser and right side is the windows chooser and the gesture is two finger double tap Two finger double tap, magic tap, performs a magic tap, typically toggling the most important state of the app. If you do it anywhere else, especially in the middle of the trackpad, it turns on the magic uh, tap command. Touch. One finger single tap is touch. Double tap, perform action for item, performs the default action on the item in the voiceover cursor. Okay, double tap will do the action that is associated kind of link if it is a link it opens if it is a radio button it gets selected etc so that's how you can learn how to use the trackpad and also turn on or off the trackpad before i close the today's lesson why i have been specifically mentioning about turning off the trackpad is many times when I turn off my computer, I accidentally do a two finger double tap on the trackpad. I touch my um, trackpad with three fingers, maybe accidentally twice and it gets the voiceover gets muted. And next time when I come back and turn on my Mac, it becomes tough for me to understand what is happening because the voiceover is muted and nothing will be spoken out. 
and it it is more difficult for me to understand what's happening with my computer so if you also have a similar problem when you are using your mac continuously make sure that either the trackpad is turned off or you may have want to check the mute and unmute of the voiceover with that we'll meet in the next lesson thank you very much for watching thank you for watching and being with us please like and share the video don't forget to click on the bell icon and also for more updates subscribe the channel